So hello art friends. Um, today's video we are going to be showing you how to use Tinkercad. And Tinkercad is a piece of 3D modeling software. Um, it's available free and online. You, there are links to it on my webpage. I'm going to show you how to get there. What you can use it for is to create something digitally, virtually in the computer and then print it out using 3D printing or 3D printer. So what I've been working on is I've been working on some armor from the Mandalorian, the best car shoulder armor, van braces that we can use there, as well as some simpler things like, you know, I got like a little art mannequin model that I can use for posing and that sort of thing. Um, so let's show you how to use Tinkercad. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to start by opening the internet. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to Pathways homepage, staff directory, special areas, David O'Neill art, my page. And you can either scroll down at this point to the bottom, or you can go right here to my new art resources page. I've got a lot of new links and I'm, this is what I'm updating currently and doing as much of that as possible. So some cool art videos and this sort of thing. We're going right here to Tinkercad. Going to open that, go to that link. First thing we need to do is sign up. Is some kids have accounts already and they've done that. Um, most of my students haven't, um, or we have old accounts and we need to do it again. So we're gonna hit join now, and we're gonna go down here. We're not gonna join a class. We're gonna go ahead and create a personal account for this one. So create a personal account and they're gonna sign in with Google because they all do have their Google accounts. I have a list of tons and tons of Google accounts that I've used on here. Um, your student may go ahead and have theirs and then they could just click on theirs and type in their password. I'm going to go ahead and hit use another account and we're going to sign in. So I'm going to use my daughter's, um, Amelia dot O N E L. All of their accounts start with their first name dot their last name, the letter S for student. And Amelia was born on the January 30th. So she is, we'll go ahead and put 30 and we'll put at orange for our county dot k12 dot north carolina nc dot us and that's their full address so um if you don't know your student's address um if you try this first name dot last name letter s the day they're born go ahead and try that if not you feel free to contact me by email um posting on pathways facebook page class dojo any of those sort of things and i'll get that for you so i'm going to go ahead and hit next and I've got to enter a password and that password is going to be her lunch number. No. And I'm having to read it off the page because I don't know her number off the top of my head. Again, if you need that number, go ahead and um, just email me or something and I will get that for your student. Next, welcome and oh yep you've got to, of course click on the terms re agree to your terms autodesk can send me newsletters yep absolutely continue and here we have tinkercad so you can really start is really cool is tinkercad has this teaching feature that you can go ahead and um it shows you everything to do you can go to this tutorial i'm not going to do that today but you can also go over here to the learn tab and by clicking on learn, there's all kinds of projects on how to place, view, move. And there's all these starter lessons that you can get into. The students can choose from any of these, complete them, do it. You go back to your learn tab again, lessons, how to make Minecraft party glasses. That will be a big hit at your house. Chess pawns, rulers, all sorts of different lessers, lessons and things that they can do all of these different pieces and parts it's going to teach them the you know, bat symbol that sort of thing skull button um little wrench it's fun um so they can do any of those things and learn or they can just go ahead and go back to the regular let's see if i can get back there let's see if i can get back there reasonably quickly All right, so we can just go ahead and start tinkering and play with it ourselves. So I'm gonna hit create a new design. Takes a little while to load. And it's it's building with blocks. It really is. Is I mean, you've got a list of shapes and things over here on the side. And 
now it's up to your imagination to make things. So I'm going to show you a couple of simple little tricks that we're going to do. So you can take a shape and you can go ahead and place it right there. Now you've got these arrow or boxes where you can change the scale of it. You can grab the top, shrink it down a little bit, take the whole thing, scale it up. And, and you've got a shape. Now you can build on those shapes and combine different things by using the other, the other pieces. If I wanted to add to that shape, I can take another cylinder and I can move it over here, shrink it down a little bit, scale it up. Yes, I do make sound effects a lot of the time when I'm working. Now, if I want to combine these two pieces together, I'm going to click on this one, hold down the shift key on my keyboard, click on this one, and this little button right here, that's going to be your group button. So I'm going to group those. It makes that all one piece. Now, if I want to cut holes in this and change the shape of this, I'm going to use other pieces that are holes. So I'm going to grab this cylinder right here and I can move this around so I can see a little bit better. Change the scale of it. Move it into where I want it. I'm going to copy that by hitting control C on my keyboard and control V is going to paste it. So I'm just going to drag that one over there, make another one of those, um, grab a box and shrink it down a little bit. Shrink it, move it about where I want it. Um, copy and paste that box again. Paste another box in there. So but basically what I'm doing is I'm using these shapes just to create something. And I know what I'm doing, so I have a little bit of advantage. You'll see what in a minute. I'm going to grab this. This is a rotation tool and rotate that around a little bit like that. Paste another one in here somewhere in there. Like I said, I'm putting a lot of holes in this, as you guys will see, the, hopefully, the magic of what's going to happen in a second. And then I didn't want it, really. I was just doing this just to show you guys, so I didn't really want... Oops, I didn't make this a hole. If you've forgotten and you want this to be a hole, but you've accidentally made it a shape, I can select it here and go right here and change that to a hole. So now it is. Now I want to make all these holes like one piece so I can cut everything out at once. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold down shift, select all the other ones. And my computer's lagging a little bit. Now I can group the holes together as well. So all of those holes are one. It's all one piece. Now I, you might be starting to see what I'm making. So I'm going to click on the holes, hold down the shift key, click on the solid piece, and now I'm going to group those together and watch the magic on the screen. I've made essentially a bat symbol, right? So really cool things that you can do that way is um, you can make and move that around, look at all those things. I've made in the past where I go ahead and I can cut out a hole in the middle of this and combine those together. And I've put in a bearing to where you can make a bat shaped fidget spinner, which is super cool. Um, you could, you know, clean this up a little bit. You could move it around, um, all sorts of other things. So there you've got the bat symbol fidget spinner thing. Um, I'm gonna show you one more, well, a couple more things before we uh, go. So I'm gonna go back here to Tinkercad, right? Just by clicking here, that should take me back to the main menu. You can see that your designs are already shared. So it keeps this automatically for me. I didn't have to hit save or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new design. Take a little minute. I'm going to start showing you a little bit about how I made the Mandalorian fan brace there. It is got a hole in it, so you can wear it. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start with a cylinder, and I'm going to scale it up. And I'm going to say, let's scale it up pretty big. If you really want to get accurate and know exactly how big your things are, you can notice there are measurements on here. These are in um, millimeters, and you can figure out what your grid is. You can actually change the size of your grid. I don't 
think that students at this point need to worry about that is what I can do is once these are submitted and I put them into the, the printer software, I can change the scale of them for them. So just as long as they get something that's cool. So I'm going to stretch it up a little bit like that. Go ahead and add a box and I'm going to put this box over on the side, stretch it up. I want to make, if you watch the Mandalorian, one of the coolest things that he's got going is the whistling birds. So I'm going to grab this cone and this little piece right here drags it up instead of making it larger. Now you need to view it from the side to make sure that you didn't um, make it, you know, above where you want it to be. Move that over a little bit. You got to move this around and I'm doing this with my right mouse button. Um, if you are working on your school laptops, you are probably going to have to use the alt key because the alt key helps you right click on there. So I'm going to grab that. I want to combine all these together. So click this, this, and this right here. Join. Going to grab a little bit of, let's grab another cylinder over here. I'll put that cylinder on there. I'm going to make it really kind of small and then drag it up to go ahead and put some little details on the side. Copy that by again, control C, control V. I'm gonna move that around, control V again, get me another one of those. Put that kind of thing over here, make a little bit of detail. Ooh. Take my sphere, make it much, much smaller. I'm going to go ahead and try and lift that up. Uh-oh. I think there's trouble Hi. coming in. Hi, it's Coach. Good to see you guys. Hope you're going outside and playing well, all day. Well, maybe not in the rain today. Well, you can go outside in the rain. That's It'll true. be okay. Just dry off when you come there. inside. And, you know, wipe your feet off so you don't drag mud into the mom's house. Yeah. And, and when you get sick, blame Coach, not Mr. O'Neill. That's you, right. You can't get sick from being in the rain. <laughs> uh, Bye. Hope we'll see you soon. Have a good one. So like I said, and before I was interrupted in that way, I am trying to look at that. I've made that shape ridiculously in the wrong shape because they were distracting me. That's what they do all the time. Anyway, I'm going to delete that. Anyway, start to make my Mandalorian armor. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to take another cylinder over here, make it ginormously tall. Oh, gracious. Make it ginormously tall and much bigger move it into the middle there and I can zoom back now here 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 roll it around maybe make it a little bit shorter what I'm trying to do is get this to be the right size to cut a hole in this I'm gonna make that piece again I'm gonna make that a hole Select this, select this, and group. Oh, didn't go all the way through. So now I can, this is important, I can go over here to the undo key. And once I've hit undo, I now know that it didn't cut all the way through. So I can grab this hole, I can take it and push it down a little bit. And now go again, and I'm going to select that, hold down shift, select that, group those together. Now, boom, right there. I've got the hole and I've made the Mandalorian uh, fan brace, that arm guard. Okay, so what do I do now that I have this 3D model? Um, you can either just go ahead and take a screenshot by hitting the print screen key. Um, and that's going to go ahead and copy that into the memory. And you can paste that onto a Google Doc, share that with me. Um, and that's cool. Or if you want me to be able to you know, move it around and manipulate it and check it out from all sides and, and be able to comment on it. What you can do is this. Go ahead and go up here to where it says send to. I'm going to grab here, send to, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to where it says invite people. And that's going to invite me to be able to come into this space and actually work on it with you. I'm going to hit invite people. Copy this link. It's going to give me a link that I can share via email or whatever. And again, you guys don't have email. See my other video if you want to know about that a little bit more. Copy that link, but I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go back to my Google Drive. So once I'm on Google Drive, I got to move myself there. Once I'm on Google Drive, I can go over here to new Google Doc. 
And on my Google Docs now, I can paste that link in there. So that's going to give a shared link. So you've created a doc with the link. You can go ahead and hit share. You can give it a name, um, Tinkercad. And then who do you want to share it with? Who do you want to share it with me? So D-A-V-I-D, if you just put David, and there's a bunch of different Davids in there, so you got to do that. But if you hit David.O, there's only two in our district. So you can go ahead and hit David O'Neill, Orange K-12, hit that and you are going to make sure it says notify and hit send people. So I can now edit this document. I can comment on it. I can click this link and I can go into my Tinkercad account and I've got to sign in again. So I'll, have to, I'll do that in a second. I don't want to waste your time with that. But then I will be able to come in and work on your Tinkercad document with you. So I hope you've enjoyed this a little bit longer than I anticipated, but there's a lot of stuff in Tinkercad to do. Um, go through all these tools over here on the side, play with them. Uh, the scribble tool is one that I didn't teach you. The scribble tool is super cool. You can do anything that you want to. You can draw manually. You can make your own shapes. And when you hit done, look, it made whatever kind of thing that you want that you can now size. So, Play with Tinkercad. Go ahead and find some different things. Ask me some questions. Send me some um, screenshots of what you've done. Okay? Thanks for watching.